I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm pretty stoked with my catch for today. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So this weekend I am back out at the Fleury Peninsula and I'm at a spot called Rapid Bay, which is honestly absolutely stunning. There is so much to see around here. I'm pretty keen to see if I can hire a kayak or a paddleboard just so I can get out in the water. There is a couple of sea caves, which I'm gonna check out. There's literally one right behind me as well, which I can access via the beach. But right now I'm currently setting up a fishing rod because this weekend I plan to do a little bit of a catch and cook. Although obviously I have to catch fish in order to cook it. So wish me luck i'm gonna try for both squid and maybe some whiting as well but like i said absolute rookie so the goal essentially came from the fact that you know over christmas i did the lobster diving with harry which honestly i found so much fun and it's on my 2024 bucket list to actually do a spear fishing course as well but i figured why not start with the basics because that's what i have access to at the moment so we've got a lot jam-packed into this weekend but first of all i'm going to go check out rapid bay here and then we'll be heading over to gulwa beach which is a bit of a full drive access Beach, a lot different to Selig's Beach last weekend, and from there we'll be camping out at a really cool campsite there. So let's get straight into it, and I'll show you guys some of the best spots in this area. Okay, I think we can all agree that that beach is absolutely beautiful, although it's still not quite what I'm looking for. I was hoping I could rent a kayak somewhere, but so far I'm not having any luck. So I might actually just head straight out to the Gulwa Beach track because I think it's about 10 kilometers if I recall, and I still need to set up for camp and I want to catch a fish. So I don't want the daylight to slip away from me. So let's head straight over there. And then I think I can come back to some of the other locations like Blowhole Beach tomorrow. I always get a little bit nervous actually driving on the beach just initially until I get on there and then I'm like oh I'm fine it's just really gaining that trust for my car and I think that of all cars like the Jimmy is probably the most reliable on sand but you just never know I feel like the entryway kind of gave it away anyway, but it is so busy. Like there is just hordes of people lined up along the beach. So I don't know how it's going to be down the end, whether or not I'm even going to get a campsite given how busy it is, but we'll still give it a go. It's a pretty long stretch of beach. So I'm hoping people are just sort of stacked up at the entry, but either way, we'll stop, we'll go for a fish and then I can always reconvene and figure out what to do for tonight.
right guys, I'm not gonna say that my fishing career is totally over just yet, but I haven't caught a fish. But in saying that, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of fishing off the beach. I honestly just keep getting wiped out by waves. So I think I'm gonna head back to Rapid Bay tomorrow and try my luck again then. I actually still wanna try for squid as well, and that's the spot to do it. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I did plan on camping out here, but I don't particularly know the structure of it because there's not really a designated campsite. I think you just pull up anywhere. So I think I might just scope out who's gonna be here and then I'll make that choice from there. So I'll check in with you guys soon when I make my next little choice of the day. So I've been umming and ahhing whether or not I was actually gonna camp here all afternoon. Finally decided I was going to do it and I went to set up my swag and it just broke. <laughs> I feel like the universe is telling me that I should not be staying here tonight, but unfortunately the clip has broke, so I literally cannot put my swag together. It's just going to keep collapsing. So luckily where I am this weekend is only like maybe an hour and a half from where I'm actually living at the moment. So it's not going to be too much of a commute to get home and then obviously back out here tomorrow because tomorrow I do want to actually try to catch some squid. But remember, I'm going back to the Rapid Bay instead. So I will see you guys all in the morning. So potentially my swag breaking may have actually worked out for the better because I got back to Adelaide and I kind of did a bit of a Google because there's literally nowhere around here that you can hire a kayak, but turns out people in Facebook literally let you hire out their personal ones. So I did exactly that, picked it up this morning and now I'm back out at Rapid Bay. So I'm gonna see if I can try my luck for some squid fishing. The wind sort of keeps coming and going, but we'll see how we go. But yeah, let me show you guys this spot and then we might actually wrap around the coast and go and check out those caves as well. Caught a squid. Okay, have a look at this. Day made, I have officially caught my very first squid, which I am so stoked about. So, that is me done with my fishing for the day. I have accomplished what I came out to do. So, I'm going to make my way back in now and yeah, we'll see what we can do with it. So I know you guys didn't ask for a cash and cook, but you're going to get it because I'm going to cook this up and I'm going to have some lunch. It is a little bit of a late lunch, but that's fine. I haven't eaten much today, so this will be perfect. Guys, I'm actually so stoked with myself. Like the fact that I cooked this, I caught it, I think makes it even more worthwhile. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. As far as the rest of the afternoon goes, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do because I was gonna head out to Blowhole Beach and I've already bought the National Park Pass as well, but I don't know how much time I've got left. So might actually head out that way after I've eaten and maybe just check it out. I guess we might not be doing any crazy hikes for today, but I think it'll still be pretty cool to see anyway. But I'm definitely going to eat all of this first. That is my only priority right now. All right, so I made it to Blowhole Beach and it's actually a little bit of a longer hike than I was expecting. So ETA is about two and a half hours and given that it is already past 6 p.m., I don't think I have enough daylight hours to actually do that plus return this kayak in time as well. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to add it to my list for next time. But if you do ever come to this location, there is actually a four wheel drive track. I personally am choosing not to go down that way just because I still don't have the correct recovery gear, especially to be four wheel driving by myself as well. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wrap up this video here highlight of the weekend was definitely catching that squid I feel like that's taken up most of today but I'm not even mad about that at all so I will see you guys all next week I still don't know what I'm going to be doing but it is a long weekend so I'm potentially going to be avoiding the crowds at all costs but I've also got an extra day up my sleeve to go and explore something so I will see you guys all then